Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to the Coverdale Mine. Me and Aaron are back. So we got a box. Um. <laughs> Spike's looking out the window at the deer. There's deer out there. She's funny, huh? Well, this in this box is some post-war items that I had to get. Post war is where I got my start. Um, my first O gauge layout was all post war. <laughs> there was a train that my dad used to run under the tr Christmas tree when I was a kid. Every year he would set it up. And uh, I love that train. It's probably why I'm a model railroader today. And then in the 80s, he gave it to me. He said, you always love this train. He gave it to me, and that's where it all got started. So here's some post-war items in this box that I wanted. Spike, why don't you come over and get in the channel? Get on the camera. So we got bubble wrap. We got bubble wrap. We got bags. That's all good. Uh -huh. So, first item is why I really got this. Something I never had is a post war crane. So, I'm in the cranes. What I got? The gantry crane. I got the pre-war crane i got the marks crane i have the uh i forget what it's called the littler lionel crane the uh, runs on gas or diesel forget the name of that crane the burrow crane they're all in my videos So, I paid a little bit more than I wanted to for these. No, I don't need help. But the guy said they were in awesome condition. Let's keep it that way. Got to get it out of the box. Out of the plastic. Looks very clean. Hey, Spike wants to see. Uh, uh, Spike, you want to be interested? It is very clean. This is the post-war Lionel Lines Erie Crane, which I think is very cool, and this thing is super clean. Hey, Spike, what are you doing up there? <laughs> So let's see how she works. What's she getting into? Be careful. I don't want her to fall off. So this crank brings her up. Wow, this thing is super clean. So I'm kind of glad I did. It wasn't too, too much more money, but. That needs put on there. What do you think, Spike? That's my post-war crane so that's very cool Let's see what else we got in here she's all right up there she's part of the show so we also what do we got we have four cars in this four cars yeah, I'm loving how clean that is. It's going to look good down on the layout. What do you think, Aaron? I forgot to show it to Aaron. Nice and clean, huh? Very awesome. I need to fix this hook. My
Okay. We can do that later. Let's get this stuff out of the box. Whoa, watch out, Spike. I have a sharp knife. I'm glad you like trains and you're interested in my trains. Don't chew on them. Keep an eye on spikes and don't fall off. That's okay. You don't have to. My, it's hard getting these out of here. Guy really taped them up good in this knife. And I don't want to scratch nothing. Thank you. Try some scissors. There we go. That makes it easier. I was afraid of... Hey, don't bite my friend here. Spike gets all wound up. No. Come here, you. Yeah. She thinks she's playing. Come here, you. No biting. You can't bite us. You can't bite on us. Yeah. Uh-oh, she's in play mode. She's in puppy play mode. She, oh. she plays hard. Oh. Oh, uh, and then she... Uh, oh. All right, we're going to have to pause because I don't know. Aaron's getting attacked by the puppy. Look how clean that is. I'm loving this. Look at this, Aaron. So, guy didn't lie. He said they were on a, an adult layout and very barely ever touched. And that baby looks brand new. The crane looks brand new. Uh -huh. I know. You all right? Uh-oh, the puppy's... Puppy got needle teeth. And when she gets in them moods, she gets in them moods, there's no stopping her. Uh -huh. Yeah, stay over there. <laughs> She's uh -huh. digging a hole in my couch. Uh -huh. Did it hurt you? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry. And I'm I'm busy here. I'm doing an unboxing and let you get chewed up. <laughs> you still love the puppy though, right? Uh -huh. Of course you do. I know it hurts. Look, here's a little... She bit a hole in me. This morning, playing with her. She plays hard, and she snuggles and loves us hard, too. She's just as sweet as she is playful. So, I'm glad this guy wrapped it up good, but it's taking me longer to get it out of the box. Get it out and show you. There we go. Check this out. Oh my. Another very clean car. This is awesome. I'm happy now. I bid on this. $95 was the starting bid. So I put a bid in of 110 And I won it with the 95 No one else bid. So I'm glad for that. That no one else bid. I always bid a little higher just in case eBayers like to play a game. Two seconds before the auction's up, they'll bid 50 cents more. <laughs> so I always bid a little extra to keep them guys from getting my thing. So I'm so glad I won this for $95. These four items. Here's the spotlight, Aaron. That goes on there. And I don't know if this is one of them rotating spotlights or not. But it's very cool. Very clean. All the parts are here. Even the wheels and underneath are super clean. I do have a spotlight car down there, but it is not post-war. 
<coughs> this one definitely is. So we got one more car that came with the set. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, what happened? What happened? He ripped me off. But nope, here it is. Knife case. <coughs> One more car. I guess a bonus car because I really was looking for one of these cranes. And that's all I really wanted was <laughs> one of these black, uh, eerie cranes. Hi, Spike. Uh, you being good now? Hi, buddy. Oh, she's being real good now. But this came with it. I do have three of these gondolas downstairs, but whoa, none of them in this good a shape. And it also came with barrel loads. So we can make a nice little work train. Here we got wooden barrels for the gondola. And this gondola is super clean. It's like, this is like amazing me how clean these are. <coughs> Built by Lionel. New and two of 49, is that what it says? Need my glasses. Shouldn't try to read that stuff without glasses. Uh-oh. So super clean. Everything here is super clean. I'm very happy. You think she's funny, huh? What do you think, Spike, of my new post-war trains? <laughs> she's checking them out. What do you think, Aaron? Well, let's see if Spike get Spike's approval. Did we get your approval, Spike? Did we could get a good deal? I think we did. So we're going to get these down on the layout, and I'm going to have to get some post-war trains on oh, my post-war yeah. trains running. Right, Aaron? <laughs> you like Spike up on your table. Okay, well, stay tuned for that. We'll get a uh, little post-war yeah. trains running. Aaron, give me a fist bump. <coughs> Boom! Hey. Say hey. bye to my YouTubers. Okay, how cool is that? It is a rotating one, and it's working good. All these wheels... They need oil. So I'm going to clean all the trucks up. And put some oil on. All the wheels. They're not rolling too good. But these old post wars with a little oil, they'll roll like new. This is the best way to clean the wheels up. These little scrubby pads for the Dremel. Cleans, cleans them right up. And we got boom up, boom down, boomer up over here. Cable up, cable down. Pretty cool. Just like the pre-war in operation and swinging out. It's amazing how some oil on these post-war wheels make a difference. They were hanging up, not rolling nice. I put a drip of oil on each side of the axle on every wheel. So two drops of oil on each wheel because these old post-war wheels roll on the axle. 
instead of having a pivot point, they actually roll over the axle. So I put a drop on each side and they're rolling smooth. Okay, up here on the upper loop, I'm gonna run the uh, 2055 Hudson, post-war Hudson with the all post-war consist here. My new floodlight car. Gondola with load. Lionel line Berkris Erie. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking this uh, crane and the work caboose. Here I got my Pennsylvania turbine purchased by my grandfather in 1951. He gave it to my dad and my dad used to set it up under the Christmas tree when I was a kid. So I played with this train when I was a little kid. Pennsylvania 681 turbine. Six. Eight six wheel arrangement these box cars were my grandfather's i bought the auto carrier but the rest of the train was all grandpappies so here's another pre -war post war train, train not pre war pre-war post-war lionel scout i believe lionel made this to compete with marks back in the day low end no smoke no whistle she does run good lionel scott and of course we got an all post-war consist for it all post-war cars you're seeing